go forward and let's share your story. And this is a compilation of 29 women sharing that story to inspire and motivate you to take action to moving out of that space of invisibility into the space of invincibility and living the rest of your life with no regrets, doing what you want to do in your life. So thank you so much for having us here at Virgetti. Truly appreciate it appreciate you. And I want to echo everyone too. And uh, one thing that helped me a lot, I went to a lot of years of therapy, like decades. <laughs> and uh, my, my therapist said, Kristen, just because you were born, you are worthy. That took me a long time to soak in and get that one sentence. So I'm here to say to everyone out there, just cause you are born, you are worthy. That's it. It's that simple, but it's hard to get that. <laughs> so hopefully that helps someone out there. Cause, uh, you know, especially during this time, we need a lot of hope, a lot of inspiration, and uh, we can do this. I'm going to just say, you know, thank you very, very, very much. Kristen, I am so glad that you joined us, that you were able to join us and to share your story. And I hope that you just feel all our hugs and love because I know that your story was also very, very difficult um to tell but we love that you um that you found the strength to to share your story um and you are a powerhouse of the of a woman you really really are i admire i admire who you are and i admire what you do but more for who you are than anything oh, else thank you and actually Doing this is really a gift for me because I don't have to hide and feel ashamed. Like it's out there now. Before it was like, oh my God, if anyone knows, they're not going to like me <laughs> or, or think different. Like, so, so there it is. And I just have to roll with it. And so it's really, you know, a gift to do it. So if anyone out there is hiding, you got to just kind of get out there as hard as it is. You know, I was staying composed until I got to this one final thought. And I then, then I started, I started crying. I'm like, where's the tissue? Um, you know, in my journey, books were so important to me. I read a lot and I journaled a lot and it, it really did hit me so strongly just right now is that, um, when you're healing and you're hurting so deeply inside, sometimes it is just such a private struggle. And to be able to read kind of an independent book um, where you can take it one paragraph at a time. Um, I just think of how many books I, I will not get rid of my books because they were part of my journey of healing and I, I did not have that intention when I wrote this story, but it really did hit me. So <laughs> I'm not apologizing for my tears. I'm just sharing them is that it was it may it may it provide a source of hope for other women who are feeling so invisible and hopeless now that just pick up this story. We're regular women. We've been through some trenches and we're standing here uh, wanting to take your hand and, and pull you with us to join our collective. So mm. label like depression, anxiety, even schizophrenia. My own is psychoaffective disorder, depressive type. And I also have an avoidant and dependent personality disorder. Hello, I'm avoiding the publicity, don't I? Okay, <laughs> I think those labels are not permanent. And that's what I'm trying to tell all people. It's not your fate to be a victim of some label, some other's perception of you. You can do it. I did it. All the ladies in the book did it. And so can you. 
Mm, Christy, that is just it's such a beautiful thing that you're telling everyone. I mean, you're, you're, well, every story here just tugs at your heart, doesn't it? It just really tugs. And, you know, I, to add to what you're talking about, you know, parents really suffer with labels for children for disabilities as well. That's a real stipulation. And I think a lot of children don't get services that they need because of that stipulation. And people don't go to the doctor and get medication like they need because then they're going to be labeled anxiety or maybe bipolar or manic depressive or, you know, I mean, they can. it's just a really hard path. But the, in the end, you need the diagnosis in order to get the help that you need. And like you said, it doesn't have to stay there forever. So, you know, thank you for bringing that up because that's really, really important for people to understand. It doesn't have to stay with you forever. If you don't order food at the restaurant, they're not going to know what to give you, right? So it's a collection of women who have told their stories not because they... Um, don't have fear, they have the fear, but they write their stories in spite of their fear. And so we're saying to you, if that's you out there watching this and you are living in fear, we're saying to you, you can speak out because you're afraid. We've just done that and we wish you well. Love to everyone out there. <music>